hey guys uh, i greet you with your time wherever you are watching from uh, in today's video i'm going to be talking about marriage betrayal all right um in the world today um there's a lot of uh, marriage uh, uh, betrayers all right um if you are a young uh, man if you are a young woman um, if you are a young girl, if you are a young boy, parents, guardians, mama, papa, carry chair and sit down and listen to this video. Okay? Um, don't skip this video because whatever I'm going to be saying here, um, every bit of it uh, is very important. Alright? Carry your chair and sit down and listen attentively. Okay? Um, parents, uh, if you are the type supporting your, your child to be uh, dating different men, you know, um, going around dating different men, or um, you are the kind of parent that is supporting your boy child to be dating different women, you know, doing, uh, behaving anyhow they like, and stuff like that. Uh, this video is definitely for you all. Alright, sit down and listen. If you know you will not marry somebody, don't eat their money. Don't commit to that relationship. Okay? If you know um, that when you are dating anyone and you know that the relationship is not going to go far, it's not going to go anywhere, don't commit to that relationship. You know? And make it clear to that person that this relationship that I'm, I'm in with you is not going to go anywhere. Okay? Don't pretend that all is well and later you will say um, you are not going to marry a gay. If you know you are not going to marry a gay, but don't eat their money and, and don't waste their time. Okay? Uh, we as humans, um, our brains uh, are structured the same, but we reason differently. Right? Um, we think differently. And we do things differently. Something that I can take as a person, when you do that thing to me, um, I can easily let go, you know, and forget about it. But some people, you will do that same thing to them. They will not be able to let go. So that's why I said our brains are structured the same, but we think and reason differently. All right. So as our hearts, um, some of us we have forgiving hearts. You know, when anyone offends us, we um, we easily forgive. But there are some people they don't have forgiving heart. When you do something to them, they are going to pay you back in your own coin, no matter what it is. That's why you see some friends. Uh, poisoning their, 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 their friends. You see um, some people, uh, they will say, this guy is so young, he just died. Uh, this girl is so young, oh, he just died, um, gone too soon. You know, all these things, it is something that is causing it. All right? It's not everyone that have a, uh, a forgiving heart. Okay, so we must all be careful when dealing with people. Alright, especially when it pertains to um, the issue of marriage. Marriage issue is a very, very sensitive issue. You know, so you must be very careful when dealing with people. I'm only going to show the, um, the picture first. I'm going to show the picture first. I'm not going to show the video. 
I have the video, but I'm not showing it yet. I'm going to put the picture up here. You see the picture of this girl? This girl, this young girl, um, was going to school and um, she had a boyfriend. Um, her boyfriend um, literally sponsored her education from primary school to um, university level. You know, things were going well. This girl pretended that uh, she loved the guy and stuff like that. The guy was sponsoring the girl, you know, using all everything he had to be sponsoring the girl. You know, the guy, even after like spending all the money with him, he, he don't even feed wear anymore. He don't wear good clothes, you know, but he was sponsoring the girl in school. Okay. So, um, after the girl graduated, uh, she now realized that the guy is not a graduate. Uh, I'm not going to marry him. I'm going to marry somebody that is a graduate like me. Okay? Um, and she told this guy that she's not uh, doing anymore. Okay? So, this guy uh, begged and begged and begged and begged this girl. This girl refused. She said that. She said she will not marry this guy. Okay, okay. The guy said, okay, since you said I'm not educated, um, okay, let me go back to school so that I can, uh, I can, uh, I can, you know, get education and become a graduate like you so that you will marry me. The girl said no. That she's not going to marry this guy. The guy begged and begged and begged, the girl refused, okay, so out of uh, grief and bitterness, this guy went to a native doctor, you know, and poured out his uh, grievances to the native doctor, and advised the native doctor um, to send the snake to go and attack this girl. Any day, she will be getting married. Okay, so, um, as you saw in the video, the girl is wearing a, a marriage ceremony uh, clothing, you know. So, the spiritual um, snake came and uh, attacked the girl and pulled her down, you know, and stayed on, on top of her. You know, she couldn't move. She couldn't move, and uh, she was there, and all that. I'm going to be um, pausing the story here, and, and I'm going to, the story of the video that I want to show you. And I'm going to, um, after the video, I'm going to, um, I'm going to um, explain uh, further uh, why uh, certain things happen to people. All right, or why a voodoo or charm or a witch daughter can attack people. Okay, after the video, I'm going to show you. All right, so I want you to watch this video right now and see how the snake attacked this girl. You know, nobody um, knew how the snake came because it's a spiritual snake, right? So the, came, the snake came out of nowhere. And attack the uh, the girl. Uh, you know they were they were all happy and uh, um, drinking. You know marriage ceremony things were going well. You know as the girl, uh, uh, it was time for the girl to follow the guy home. That was when the the snake struck, okay, and attacked the girl and pulled her down, and remained there for hours. You know they were even trying to reach the guy on the phone. Uh, his phone was not uh, connecting. Okay, I want you to watch the video and um, I'm going to uh, talk to you further uh, about what happened in the video. Just watch the video. Let's watch the video together. Watch the video, guys. See, the, ge the girl's father even collapsed, you know. Lots of chaos 
two families fighting. You know, family of the guy that sponsored the girl in school, and um, the family of the girl. They were the one fighting on that video. See, see how snake tied the girl down. See. Things are happening, eh? Things are really, really happening. <laughs> After the video, I'm going to educate you on some things that many of you may not know. The world is deeper than what you think, eh? The world is deeper. Watch the video. Let's continue. This world is strange. All those of you walking around, pian, 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 eating different men's money, thinking that they cannot do anything to you. If you are, if you are one of those kind of people, you have to rethink. Okay? After the video, I'm going to explain to you Things that you have not heard before, or possibly have heard before. Okay? Watch the video. This is the family. Family, they are all confused. If you know you are not going to marry someone, don't eat their money. Don't waste their time. Don't waste their time. Did you see the video? So, that was what happened to the girl. Alright? Um, and I'm going to tell you uh, another story. This one is a short story. There was this guy. Um, he was dating this girl. And this guy really loved this girl. When I say love, he really loved this girl. And um, he did everything for this girl okay so as time goes on this girl uh, felt the guy is not uh, was not up to uh, her standard that she's not going to uh, date the guy anymore nothing she found a new man and stuff this guy begged this and uh, this is a different story this guy begged and begged and begged this girl refused the guys, the guy kept coming to the girl. The guy, the guy kept coming to the girl. He didn't give up. He kept coming to the girl. The girl got frustrated that she, um, she came to the conclusion to do something that will really hurt the guy, you no, know, to chase him away permanently. So um, she decided she was going to make love to another man. And leave the door and windows open so that the guy can see them making love, and that way um, he will leave, like he will leave and never come back. So on this on the faithful day, this guy brought in another uh, new man that she was dating, and um, uh, they started making out. You know, the door was open and the windows were open. So this guy that really loved this girl, um, he heard them, uh, you know, um, making out, and uh, he peeped from the window, and saw them, and saw another man on top of the gate. He loved. This guy cried. This guy cried. He cried and cried and cried, and said. I have showed you and said to the girl that I have showed you that I loved you, but you didn't you didn't believe me. But from now on, you will never see love in your life again. The guy swore that the girl will never see love in her life again. Guess what happened? That lady now is over 50. 
she was not able to find any man that will love her. Till now, she was not able to find anyone. Men kept coming, but they will eat and go. They will eat and go. Nobody was able to love her again. So when we are doing certain things, we have to be really, really careful. Because um, the word that you are saying, whatever you put into it, that is what you are going to get back. That is what they call the law of karma. Okay? Everyone have to be very, very careful. Alright? And, you know, in, the, in, in life, we have physical court where they judge cases. As we have physical court that they judge cases, that is the same way we have spiritual court. Alright? We also have spiritual court. Before any spiritual thing, when they take your case to a spiritual court, there's a judge there. There are prosecutors there too. I've not been there. I don't know what it looks like. But I know there's a spiritual court. All right? They will present your case and judge your case. If you are guilty, whatever that person that you offended uh, would do to you, either spiritually or physically, will come to pass. You know, don't say that you are a Christian, you serve God, and nothing will happen to you. <laughs> God created everything on earth. If you are serving God, serve Him with your whole heart. Whatever you are doing, uh, do it straight and right. All right? Don't claim that you are a religious person and you will go out there hurting people, and doing bad things to people. When you do such things to people, and they, 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 they can do something that, that will affect you spiritually. And when they do that thing, it's going to affect you because you are guilty. The only time, the only time, um, Voodoo, um, spiritual attack, or uh, those are witch doctors' attacks will not affect you. It's when your hands are clean. When your hands are clean, nothing that people will do to you will happen to you. But when your hands are dirty, when your hands are not clean, Whatever people we do to you will happen to you. So we must all be careful and make sure that our dealings with people to make sure that our hands are always clean. Alright? So don't think that I'm serving God um, and you go out there and be doing rubbish to people. Uh, treating people the way you like. All right, I'm, I'm going to emphasize this again. Um, as there is physical court, that is how there is a spiritual court. All right, so, um, so don't think that um, you can do anything to anyone and just get away with it. Okay, um, God said in the Bible that um, if you are worshiping me, worship me in truth. Worship me in truth. So what he meant by that is that you have to worship, worship him wholeheartedly and with a clean heart, with a clean hands. Okay, you cannot have dirty hands. You cannot be, all your dealings with people cannot be dirty and you say you are worshiping God. No, it's going to abandon you. It's not going to protect you. But when your hands are clean, that is the only time God will protect you. Alright? So, 
I want you to have that at the back of your mind. Alright, so um, young girls, um, young boys, um, parents, please always advise your children to um, date one person. Alright, don't support them when they are dating different men. You know, bringing in money, you don't ask them how they got the money. Uh, you just use it and prepare uh, okboroko soup or isiewu or uh, olobu or gusi or bono soup and be eating with them. You don't ask them how they got the money. You don't ask them um, uh, who are you dating. You know, hope is one person. You know, you, you need to in investigate your your, your your child. Don't just be don't just be taking everything that they are bringing home and and uh, forget forgot about uh, questioning them about it. And you young guys dating uh, older women and promising them marriage. Make sure you marry them. Make sure you marry them. All. Not after promising a woman that that is older than you that you marry them and you will see, later you will say you you will not marry them anymore after eating their money. God will God will not protect you. Get that straight. God is not going to protect you because your hand your hands are dirty. Okay. I've told you before. The only way God will protect you is when your hands are clean. So don't think uh, um, God will always protect me. I'm, I'm his child. No. No. Not when you are doing bad things to people. God is not going to protect you. Okay? Um, let me put the second video. Watch the second video of the girl that the snake attacked. Let's watch the second video. Let's watch it. Go ahead, watch the video. Every one of them is running at a skater. Now they realize that it's not everybody that you can do something to and expect God to protect you. No. You cannot hurt others and expect God to protect you. Never. It's not going to do that. Ndetse ko nta kibazo n'iki na kimwe batakemura mu bushobozi bwabo. Nyuma nyuma kuri tumaze kubona ubashye mu muryango ufite bwo kuvura umuntu batana ari kumwe. Nyuma rero nubwo rubanda bagutangarije ko abavuzi gakondo bamaze gukora ibintu. Some people have forgiven spirit. Harandi makuru twamenye yuko people don't have forgiven spirit. Ndetse ko atari mu gihugu cyabo ndetse no mu bamaze gukora ibitanga. If somebody offends me. Ahubwo hirya no hino kwisi hose. I always leave them forgotten ko bishoboka. But every man is not like that. Some people you offend them. They are going to pay you back with your own call. And it's not everybody you play with that uh, they are mental. Guys, yes, you have to be careful. See the video? Every one of you have to be careful. Alright? Like I said. When you are worshipping God, worship Him in truth and in spirit. Okay? Worship Him faithfully. Alright? Don't do bad things to people. Um, don't treat people anyhow you like. Make sure, if you are serving God, make sure you are really serving God. Alright? Because um, you will not say you are serving God and you will be doing bad things to people. Please, if you are one of those dating different uh, five boys, uh, five, uh, six guys, or you are a, a, a guy dating uh, a lot of women and promising them marriage, refrain from that act. Otherwise, you are going to end up like gone too soon. That's why you see a lot of young people. They will just bring them out on Facebook or any other social media platform. They say, Oh, rest in peace, rest in peace. Young people, nobody knew what happened to them. It's one of these things that can cause those kind of things. Alright? If you don't want to marry someone 
Don't promise them and, um, and don't waste their time. Okay? Don't waste their time. People are blessed with, um, with uh, everybody have different gifts. When some people speak something, even if they don't go to um, uh, a native doctor, if they speak something, anything at all, it will come to pass. So, if you offend such people, and they, they can easily attack you. Okay? So, learn to worship God in truth and in spirit, and worship Him with clean hands and clean heart. Alright? So, I'm going to be ending my video here. Uh, if this is your first time of coming across my video, please like, comment, share, and follow my page. For more videos i'm gonna let you go um you have a nice day and god bless